Hello. I am going to give a brief introduction to Ekabana flower arrangement in this video. Ekabana may be arranged anytime, anywhere, with any material by anybody. The beautiful flowers, plants and raw materials are the creation of nature. But Ikebana is the product of man's creativity and imagination in arranging that materials. You may consider the flower arrangement as a father, mother and child. Or perhaps the shallow container arrangement suggests a landscape to you. But think of it as a mountain, hill and valley or heaven, man and earth. There are three main lines. Shin, So and Hikai are the names given to them. The longest one is called Shin and the medium line is called So and the shortest one is called Hikai. Shin, So, Hikai the main lines. The supplementary lines are Jushi. Each main line can have its own Jushi. You can add any number of Jushi. But the supplementary lines are always shorter than the main line. The main lines are placed at an angle of 15 degrees, 45 degrees and 75 degrees depending on the arrangement. The flower holder we use in Ikebana is called Kengsan. This is the Kengsan. This is heavy. And you can fix flowers on this. The kenzan is always immersed in water when you make the arrangement. Kenzan is placed in the arrangement in different position depending on the style of the arrangement. This is the placement of kenzan. There are eight positions. The main positions are one, two, three, and four. And the position 1 and 2 is used for upright style and 3 and 4 is used for sliding style. There are two basic styles in Ikebana. The upright style and the slanting style. These two basic styles are the basis of all arrangements. Variation styles are based on this basic style. Free creation is born out of practice of this basic and variation styles. I will show you how to make some basic arrangements in my other videos.